So it just might be that we have the first look leaked to the public of Fight Night, next year's first event, which should have Gibraltar's heirloom, as well as obviously a new town takeover, limited time cosmetics, and a bunch of other stuff. But like I said, it does appear we might actually have our first true look at this as there seems to be one of the either Twitter or Instagram videos that has been leaked to the public in some way or another. And we're going to go over that video today. But first, if you enjoy the channel and you want to help out in a big way, then how about taking the time to like this video? And if you're new, smash down that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. Now, as I've said, we may have our first real look. This could be just a really good fan video, obviously. But uh, you make the call in the very end after you watch what we have available. Now, as I said, there is some stuff that we do know, like there is a new town takeover that should be in this general vicinity on the map. And the chances are that we're going to have Gibraltar's heirloom, not, uh, you know, the heirloom for Bangalore that we also heard about throughout season seven. So there is um, a good chance that we'll that we should be seeing, you know, some things that we do know about directly and this clearly is somewhat common knowledge so as i said this could be a really just well done fan video so just that little disclaimer before we get right into that part of the video but without further ado let's check it out this will be fun here i come brother Now, I personally think that would be one incredible fan video to have been done. But at the same time, you know, I've seen some crazy stuff done in fan videos more recently. However, let's watch this again in slow motion. Now, keep your eyes open because obviously we start right with the Dick Tracy skin for Pathfinder. But then we move right on to a Bloodhound skin that looks awesome and a Watson skin that also looked pretty amazing. And then we get to look at the arena itself, which appears to me at least to be some melee centric type of situation here. Now, we also get a good look at a what appears to be a Loba skin there that is really, really shiny and reflective. So we do seem to have some interesting stuff that we can look at. And then we'll go ahead and take another quick look at the, you know, Bloodhound skin first, which is, in my opinion, Kind of interesting and uh, a lot of angular stuff going on here because when we look at uh, the Loba skin, it's got that diamond reflector kind of thing going on all over it, you know, with these like sequins. And I do like the French influence that we see on the Watson skin that's shown off there. And it does appear that there is a Revenant skin or maybe that is a current Revenant skin. I'm not exactly sure, but it did appear to be a few characters that had different skins in there. And of course, the main attraction, the Pathfinder Town Takeover, is clearly an interesting area in the map already to be seen. So guys, what do you think about this? Drop a comment down below. If you believe this to be true, does this look like an interesting event? Does this look like what we need? And do you think that the arena itself will add anything to Olympus? Because at least we know that some of the ideas here are 100% factual. But I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is probably a real video. But I could be wrong. I mean, there's always that uh, air of we have no idea. Because people are really, really talented in the community and can do some really impressive stuff. So it could be fake. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not discrediting our own community of people here that have amazing skill at uh, making, you know, different 3D renders and animation and st all the different things that go along with that same kind of concept. So a lot of stuff to be, you know, talked about right there. Obviously, guys, the Gibraltar heirloom is another point of interest that people are going to be you know, hyped up about and uh, with all the love Gibby has gotten and obviously the tuning that he's gotten to put him back in check a little bit, 
there's a, good, there's a good chunk of people that main this character so it's probably one of the more impressive heirlooms to see coming out maybe not one of the more impressive looking heirlooms to have come out but in terms of having a character that needs an heirloom gibraltar is probably one of those guys because he is definitely you know one of the og characters and uh, they're clearly trying to push him a little bit harder in the lore but uh, guys, really, if you uh, have a moment, how about checking out one of these three social media links, you know, hitting it up with a follow if you haven't already, a like, a favorite, whatever the lingo is on that platform. You know, if you want to hook it up with that, take the time and do that. I will appreciate it greatly on the journey to 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. And don't forget about the Twitch channel where we'll be doing some interesting stuff for the new year and Christmas. So make sure you check that out and uh, come over and hang out with us. And if you uh, got a Twitch Prime sub, we've got some interesting emotes that you can check out if you want them. But really, guys, let me know what you think about this. Definitely, in my opinion, at least, this seems interesting. The melee centric arena, which is what it appears to be, could be a really interesting addition depending on how it works. And if there is a prize for winning the arena and, and if is the prize worth actually, you know, winning, like I kind of feel that going into the Bloodhound trials on World's Edge is kind of sketchy. And you know what I mean? Like you can sometimes get good loot and you can sometimes just kind of walk out with nothing. And because of that, I think the trials aren't used as much as they should be. I think, you know what I mean? Like that, there should be an incentive with things like that to really go there and do it because the payoff is that big. Whereas the vaults are probably as big as the, uh, you know, current situation we have in, you know, the trials. So I would say like world's edge is probably just more in favor of people because there is more control in that regard and i think we've seen something similar to that with the olympus locations where there is better loot but it's like going to a vault you know those vaults are pretty much going to have good loot and you can kind of take a look inside and get yourself some loot prior to actually you know like well not get the loot but actually look at it and see if there's loot worth opening in that vault and decide if you're going to even crack it and waste your time now obviously usually you're probably just going to open it if you're there and nobody's contesting you but in some cases, getting a gold helmet, a gold body shield, those things are really effective. And I think the gold body shield in the current state of Apex is actually a really strong option that a lot of people are just completely ignoring. So I'm going to really hope and cross my fingers here that they do something really interesting with this arena and make it very much something that uh, gives you a good chunk of loot or a good piece of loot like a gold weapon if you win something like that like a high reward not just a high risk kind of situation but let me know what you guys think about that as we pick up another dub here in the bronze lobbies but uh, yeah guys here's two videos you can check out if you feel so inclined thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing and as always guys have a good one but remember to stay safe and healthy and Merry Christmas.